Parliament are urging the fast-tracking of the reconstitution of the Election and Boundaries Commission, warning of an impending constitutional crisis due to the delay in the delimitation of boundaries, a process required every 10 to 12 years by the Constitution. The issue is particularly urgent for residents of Banissa and Margarini constituencies who currently lack representation in the National Assembly following the death of the Banissa Member of Parliament and the recent Supreme Court ruling that unseated the Margarini Member of Parliament due to election malpractices. Our senior political reporter Elizabeth Motuku has the details. Members of the National Assembly have allayed fears of constitutional crisis should process be delayed in Parliament, further urging the Senate to consider special sitting to fast track the IBC Bill 2024 and allow the process move to the next level. It was to, be, to pass the IBC Amendment Bill within the next 14 or so days, then within another 90 days we should be having IBC fully constituted and then the process of, uh, of, of conducting those by-elections to start. The and it's opined that the move to reconstitute a new independent electoral and boundaries commission IEBC be in motion to beat this year's deadline for the boundaries delimitation exercise as well as to be in place for the at least three months in order to fill entry and ward seats that have been declared vacant as a result of death of office holders and nullifications of elections by courts. Like in our area we really have a lot of population and therefore we were waiting for the boundary limitations for us to be able to increase the number of votes that we have for easy representation, especially when it comes to the county government. So looking at the delimitation, we might be working against time. But I think if we are able to meet next week, uh, allow mediation to proceed, allow the president to append the signature and then be seen. The IBC Amendment Bill seeks to amend the second schedule to the act to increase the number of members of the selection panel that will interview and shortlist chairpersons and commissioners from seven to nine in order to accommodate all key stakeholders and interest groups. It's picked and, and so on into office. Then it will be between that commissioner and the constitution. Because you see, that is how we judge people. But you see, the moment a commissioner is appointed based on political party and then sworn into office, obviously that commissioner will be serving the interest of that party which appointed him. Last week, senators proposed an amendment on the IBC Bill 2024, which states that the vice chairperson of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC, would automatically become the commission chairperson whenever a vacancy occurs if a proposal by Senator on IBC Act is adopted to become a law. The IBC Act Section A states that whenever a vacancy occurs in the office of the chairperson, the vice chairperson shall act as the chairperson and exercise the powers and responsibilities of the chairperson until such a time the chairperson is appointed. It smells uh, bad for democracy because PSC is just a, a body that runs parliament, just like JSC, like Public Service Commission. So on that one, they got it wrong and we are going to amend, I'll propose myself amendment. BAC, Parliamentary Service Commission, does not have any other business to nominate members to a political process. Of the Bombers of Kenya Fraternity. Banissa and Magarini, as well as other words, will be forced to wait for quite some time as the bill in regards to constitution of IBC is still within the Senate before it's deliberated. Then assented to by President Elizabeth Motuko, TV 47, Palm Bidding Styro.